The DOT wants some feedback on plans to make sections of Wade, Hampton and Greenville County safer. Our Colin Riviello tells us what happened at a public meeting held tonight. The SCDOT wants to make traveling safer for you by adding new sidewalks, concrete barriers and upgraded signals on this section of Wade Hampton Boulevard. Wade Hampton's not always safe. Uh, there's some places that are very dangerous. Especially between a mile stretch that spans from East Lee Road to Watson Road. My neighbor got ran over walking on Wade Hampton Boulevard. The SCDOT says there were five fatal crashes on that stretch between 2018 and 2022. It would have been worth two million dollars of my money for him not to have died out there. The South Carolina Department of Transportation is now proposing a $2.1 million plan to put the brakes on collisions on the heavily traveled highway. We see a high number of angle crashes in this area, and so what we're trying to do is prevent those crashes um, and just increase the overall safety for the traveling public. The plan is to add sidewalks, install concrete medians, and upgrade traffic and walking signals for both pedestrians and drivers. People try to beat the light because of traffic being backed up, especially at the five o'clock hour. For the sculptor with a business right on Wade Hampton, he says he likes what he sees for the most part. The big gotcha, in my opinion, is that you're going to have to go down if you want to make a left turn coming from Breer. You're going to have to go down to the next light and make a U-turn. That really worries me. It's a thought shared by other drivers. A lot of people, I think, are, are not careful enough to look around to see where the traffic is coming from. But not every driver feels the same way. After this project is complete, and we give it a little bit of time, and people figure out that I can't turn left here, or I need to go there, people will adapt. G give us a little credit for that, but we will adapt. In Taylor's. Colin Riviello, 7 News. If the proposal is approved, then construction is slated to start in 2026 and last for a year.